Well, in Flow Political News, there are stories that are happening at the moment. There is big ones and there are some that are getting missed. So I've asked our very own flownews24.com.au guru, Ricky Lambert, to come in. And, well, Ricky, there's a story that I've noticed about some airlines and it involves a little Rex taking on a big queue. Yeah, that's right, Clayton. There's a big battle brewing in regional airlines. Uh, obviously, without international routes, someone like Qantas is thinking, where can we pick up passengers? And then yep. Rex has complained at a Senate inquiry this morning that Qantas is trying to swamp them and that they're feeling intimidated. Okay, so uh, the big Q is exercising a bit of muscle here and putting its big boots down and and uh, not really caring about the little guy. No, there's uh, talk today from Rex Airlines in their Senate inquiry evidence that their Qantas has announced 26 new routes across regional Australia, most of which are existing Rex routes. And the Rex um, deputy chairman has gone into how low their numbers have been on these routes, yeah. and he says it's not economic for one airline, let alone two. So the ACCC are now taking a very close interest in this, oh, as we brought you yeah. this news in Flow News 24 earlier uh, in the last week, that they ACCC thinks this could be an abuse of market power. So we're going to keep watching this space. We've got Rex Airlines flying into uh, Seduna and Cooper Pedy, and some of our listeners would catch uh, yeah. flights from Mount Gambier of, and Wagga Wagga as well. So we've yeah. got some, a very close interest in that. In fact, the deputy chairman said the numbers to Wagga Wagga were 912 passengers in the last 10-month period. He says that needs to be thousands of passengers a year for that to be viable for them as an airline, and yet Qantas wants to fly to destinations like that. I don't understand and fathom that. And I mean, yeah, if they were flying A380s in there, you might think, well, okay, there's lots of people. And But uh, that's just what's going on at Qantas, you know? Well, evidently they're desperate and not sure how long these pandemics are going to keep them from flying internationally, but they've got all this stock yeah. that's not flying. So they're seeing an opportunity, as the Rex deputy chairman calls it, swamp the Rex Airlines routes and get in there. And the concern that um, might arise is that if they don't have enough passengers, there'll be neither service flying yeah. to these destinations. Is this uh, sort of Qantas sort of exercising its muscle back at Rex because Rex is doing the Melbourne, Sydney to Melbourne route now? Is... Yeah, look, that was announced in May last year. Yeah. They announced they were going to compete with Qantas on that level, but they've said, um, as Mr. Uh, the Deputy Chairman said, they are moving into the space vacated by Virgin. Uh, yep. And so there are opportunities to move into those markets. Now, Qantas has been, Rex accuses Qantas of, and this is where we've been trying to get into this argy-bargy of what they're accusing them of. See, Rex has been supported by some government financial packages to keep flying some of those regional yep. routes. So the Rex deputy chairman asserts that Qantas has been accusing Rex of using the government support to leverage into moving into domestic markets, if you follow the logic, yeah. saying, well, you're getting propped up in the regionals and you're using that government finance to leverage into the domestic market, say, Sydney, Melbourne. And there's a great takeaway from this I'll come back to in a moment about yeah. new routes Rex is putting on. But the deputy chairman of Rex said that is definitely not the case. They are audited regarding the government support. They can't use government support for regional routes to leverage into domestic routes. But he told the Senate inquiry today they have announced new routes, including to Adelaide and to Coolangatta, that they're going okay. to fly to. So it's not just Melbourne, Sydney anymore. This is a big story because this is yeah. a big shake-up in the domestic market. You're going to see a lot more Rex airplanes, uh, rebranded Virgin planes wearing yeah. the Rex logo, flying routes you would have caught Virgin on in the past. Which we need that competition. That's at the end of the day, we need the competition. And I'm... I think this is a big story, and it's, well, it's one of those that is not being covered. We're covering it, so more details, Ricky, we can get uh, on flownews24.com.au with more details about the article. Yeah, you certainly can, and the good news is people can watch those airline prices and the price competition, and they will be able to benefit from some, some very cheap flights, I think, in the coming months. Where are we off to? <laughs> Just been to the Gold Coast not long ago, so I'm actually pretty keen to stay within South Australia myself. Uh, plenty of wonderful destinations to visit here, but uh, there's yeah. great locations in Victoria and New South Wales to holiday in as well. And check with the Rex. They might be able to fly you to some of those destinations as well. All right, thanks, Ricky. More from you we can get on flownews24.com.au. Correct. Thank you.